Melissa's imaginary. They help us cope with life changes. And you must be dealing with some serious stuff to imagine up a friend so strong you didn't even realize you were doing it. <sighs> yeah, you're darn right I'm strong. <gasps> She's escaping the portal! What's going on? It's Melissa! Your imaginary friend? Am I seriously the only one who didn't realize that? Because it really makes me look like an absolute... She tried to shove Blister into the... <laughs> J.B. Karliak is a person of many, many voices, including Boss Baby on the Netflix series. His latest project is Morph on X-Men 97, streaming right now on Disney+. Plus. JP joins us this morning. JP, well, first off, let me tell you, my kids love, love, love the Boss Baby <laughs> series on Netflix. So I'm it's so, glad. so great to meet you. You too. Tell us a little bit about how you got into doing this work. Well, I uh, I went to college for uh, to be an on-camera actor, a theater actor, and uh, and on camera in Los Angeles. And uh, cartoons are something I've always wanted to do. I just thought that it was something that you got to do because it didn't feel like a real job. Mm -hmm. um, but I had a mentor in college, uh, Kelly Ward, who um, was in the original Grease movie, but is also an animation director. Mm -hmm. And he was like, no, study with these people and then you'll get to audition. And uh, I studied with uh, Bob Bergen, who was the voice of Porky Pig and has been for about 30 years. Wow. And, um, and then slowly I just started working my way up the chain. And, and now you get to go to Comic-Con and everything like that and be a, be a star. It's insane. Uh, let's talk about Morph. Uh, yeah. X-Men, talk about X-Men 97 for people who don't know it because it's kind of a throwback. Sure, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, a yeah. Re, it's a remake. Uh, X-Men 97 is a continuation of the X-Men series from, uh, that started in 1992 and ran through 1997. Our series picks up right where that series left off, okay. so it is a great 90s throwback, but with a very modern sensibility. I mean, anybody that's watching it knows that we go places that the original series mm -hmm. never went before. And Morph is... Uh, um, a shape-shifting character who identifies as non-binary, which kind of makes sense, makes sense for being yeah. a right. shape-shifter. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, and I get to play him. And he's, what, yeah. uh, what, is, uh, what is the impact? What has the impact been for you? How significant has that been for you personally to be able to play this non-binary character? I mean, I identify as genderqueer, and, and it's, been, it's been beautiful for me to be able to inhabit a superhero, because I know if I had been able to see that character on screen when I was a kid, it would have made so much difference to my self-esteem. And just having been to the Comic-Cons and talking to people and hearing the impact that seeing Morph has made, it, it's amazing. When, when, you're looking at, when you're looking at a character like Morph and you're looking at representation in media uh, and you think back to little JP, uh, what, what would you be able to say to him and what, how would your life, do you think, would have been different uh, had you had uh, some type of role model to point to and say, ah, now that makes sense because that's what's in my head? Yeah, I mean, not only to be able to point to somebody that for me registers as making sense, but to be able to use that as a as a guidepost to inform other people, my parents, my family, my friends, my colleagues, like that person. See, do you remember watching that show? Like, I think that my mother's understanding of my gender and sexuality came from modern watching modern families. So having media is so important to give people so a powerful. yeah, some metaphor to be like, wait, oh I understand because I've seen that on television. Context. Yeah. Exactly. Because, because your mom was looking at little JP and not being able to put the pieces together. Oh yeah. And you have to kind of remove yourself, look at something else and go, oh now that makes sense. Right. I might as well have been a mutant because <laughs> it was just like, wait what? Yeah. Uh, JP, you uh, are known for many, many different voices. You've played many, many characters uh, over the years and uh, the latest one we, ha we heard from we heard from one of your characters, but let's uh, let's do this one really quick. I want the voice of Boss Baby. Or, or I'm sorry, this isn't the one we're looking for, though, is it? No, we're looking for Morph. Oh, you, you okay? So not Boss Baby, and not the Green Goblin, and not Entropy. Who are we looking at? <laughs> right, we're looking at Boss Baby Boss now. Boss Baby, yeah. that's the guy. That's who we want. Well, I'm so glad to be on the show to talk about capitalism and the benefits thereof. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next one here? There we go. Now oh, we have Morph. Morph is just me. This is, this that's is just my Morph voice. That's just your normal yeah, voice? Yeah, we, we made the decision that he, we, he, he's a shapeshifter, he's non-binary, he's living in the 90s. We didn't need to add a character layer on top of that, just being me. And do, do we have one more? We have the Joker right here. <laughs> <laughs> so glad to be on television with everybody today. <laughs> Laugh it up this Sunday. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, there's a big day for you coming up, isn't there? My birthday? A week from 
yesterday yes. is your birthday. Yes. So we wanted to celebrate for you, JP. Oh, hey. happy birthday! <laughs> the boss baby. Oh, we have a boss thank baby cake. You. you have so to accept your boss baby I, voice. I accept this in the name of enterprises throughout the United States. <laughs> All right, and we uh, fr uh, we want to shout out to our friends at ECBG Studio Cake Bakery for putting that together for us. I hope you like vanilla cake, my friend. By the way, JP, before we let you go, what is the one thing you haven't done that you want to do? Oh, so the one voice that I'd want to do is Skeletor. He's, he's the one. Oh, yeah. wow. One of let's, these days. Let's hear it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh, He-Man, you bumbling boob. <laughs> All of the 80s uh, villains sounded that way, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All based on one particular archetype. So All good. right. So you can catch good, up with JP, JP uh, in his different roles uh, online right now, jpcarliac.com. You can also find him on Instagram at jpcarliac. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been All a pleasure. Right. And happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs>